I believe I can state with relative confidence that your efforts are in vain. Even should it transpire that you vanquish my associates, this door is completely impenetrable. In addition to which, this cell contains a secret egress through which I may abscond whenever I desire. Meanwhile, my compatriots shall brutalize your person. How much time have you got? Got more if you want. Take that. You haven't lost your touch. I'm surprised his men were foolish enough to fight you. Now, truth be told, my superlative intellect notwithstanding, it would appear this is not, in fact, the specific cell I so confidently referenced earlier. The one with the secret exit has two beds. All right, you have prevailed, Your Majesty. I concede. However, I entreat you to entertain a certain proposal. You have nothing to offer, Ferret. It's over. Ah, that pronouncement is objectively devoid of merit. I happen to have on my person a substantial quantity of currency. Let me go free, and the money is yours. As far as I'm concerned, you can stay in there and rot. But that's for the Queen to decide. You royal miscreant! This grievous malefaction shall be rewarded with equally grievous retribution. All stand for the Queen. Today, you decide on the status of the Brightwall Academy, Your Majesty. Samuel will speak for the town and its scholars. Reva will dispute his cause. You may speak. <clears throat> Your Majesty. It was your father who opened the doors to Albion's greatest seat of learning. Under his rule, knowledge and... The Bright Wall Academy will be reopened as promised. But we will charge admission fees. The Bright Wall Academy shall be reopened to those who can afford its services. If that is how it must be, very well. But I am deeply disappointed you have broken your promise. Very good. I will make arrangements at once. Stimulate your intellect in the newly reopened Brightwall Academy. Suckle the knowledge from the land's greatest minds and avail yourself of the best library ever assembled. 
reasonable enrollment fees are within reach of almost 1% of the population. So don't delay Brightwall Academy. As long as you earn, it's the place to learn. The court summons Page and Reaver. The matter before you today is the future of Bower Lake. Reaver will offer his proposal. Page will stand against him. You may speak. Your Majesty, a recent survey of Bower Lake has found that the waterbed is rich in valuable metals. Now, as amusing as it would be to make workers hold their breath as they mine these resources, I fear it would be impractical. Instead, we have no choice but to dam the river and drain the lake of all water. Once that is done, we will have a ready-made quarry ripe for the plucking. It will be a pity to disfigure the landscape so close to my former home but it is a sensible course of action in light of our current needs. Bower Lake is the last piece of natural beauty remaining in Bowerstone. It belongs to our history and should be protected. We need the resources Don't in Don't take Bower it away Lake. from us. You'll be taking it away part of the city's quarry. soul with it. The Queen has ruled. Bower Lake shall be drained and mined for resources. I applaud your enterprising spirit. The lake shall be drained at once. I hope you know what you're doing, Majesty. Behold the ugliness of nature, so miserly in its gifts, its very lakeness, an affront to all good sense. Now, see it transformed into an exquisite monument to human ingenuity. Soil and rock offering up life and hope to thousands. How can one fail to be moved by such generosity? Reaver Industries proudly presents the Bower Pits. I trust the court was not too dull today. In any case, I'm confident your final task will be most enjoyable. A loyal and wealthy member of our community has offered to make a sizable donation to our treasury. Her only request is that you go to Millfields to make the collection in person. A perfect chance to stretch your legs, your majesty.
I'm at your command. Fancy a delivery job? I've got a letter that simply must reach Brightwall as... Welcome to the... Is. He fled into the woods. Madam, I understand you want to recover what you've lost, but those woods are simply too dangerous. It would be suicide to enter them without combat experience, or training, or skill. I don't want to enter them. I want you to. Right. I was talking about me. Oh, just forget it. Ah, Your Majesty, it's such an honour to have you here. If only fate hadn't conspired to make me look like a fool. Beware the woods, Your Majesty. The soldiers may be superstitious, but there's no denying dangerous beasts lurk within. Good luck. I know you will succeed. 